What's up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. This is going to be a new update video. This is going to be the update for the end of July, now that we're approaching August. And before I jump right into this, I just want to say thank you all so much for really enjoying my Black Sabbath album reviews that I've been doing so far. I know that I've got quite a lot more to go, but at least I'm more than halfway through their discography now. There will be other album reviews of different ones to come, but for Black Sabbath, I've been really digging into the, the reviews of their albums lately, and uh, I just decided to wear this shirt for the sake of it. Most of the CDs that I'm going to be showing are Black Sabbath albums, so I have now all of their discography on CD, not all on vinyl yet, although some of them are really rare to find and expensive. But enough of that. Let's get on with the stuff that I've bought from Amazon. No records once again, but uh, Strong Boys has just been spending on that site. The first two are Tom Waits albums. These are remasters from the Anti label The Heart of Saturday Night and Small Change. I have heard of Closing Time, which is a brilliant debut album, but I like this one as much as closing time the cover art was inspired by in the wee small hours by frank sinatra this album is very very good some beautiful songs on here and uh this was when tom was really going through the piano soft jazzy kind of sound this is a brilliant album really really good from start to finish small change this album is one of my new favourites. The music on this album is absolutely wonderful. It's beautiful, melancholy, but it sets the mood. This has some of my new favourite Tom Waits tracks, like uh, Tom Trowbert's Blues to I Wish I Was In New Orleans, The Piano Has Been Drinking, Small Change, I can't wait to get off work. Jitterbug Boy. This is a fantastic album that I would recommend. The next two are from Dark Throne. And they're Panzerfaust and Old Star. Panzerfaust, I had to buy this because this is one of my top favourite black metal albums of all time. And I love Dark Throne. They're one of my favourite metal bands of all time. If not my personal favourite black metal band, the guitar riffs on this album, so grimy and, and menacing, groovy. And with these very raw vocals, I love this album. My favourite Dark Throne album, and you know, this, this is still one of my favourites of all time. Old Star, really cool cover art. I decided to buy this because I wanted to get into the Dark Throne albums from this decade. You know, like the Underground Resistance and Arctic Thunder. But I've been very, very pleased that I was getting back into the guys. This is again released on the Peaceville label. And I'm really, really intrigued to check this out. The next... One is Songs from the Wood by Jethro Tull. I haven't got a lot of their stuff in the collection yet. I have heard of a few others like Aqualung and Thick as a Brick. But I have heard that this was known as one of the best ones. And this is a remaster from 2003. And I'm very looking forward to hear that one. And it has been a while since I've last listened to Jethro Tull. This is Neil Young and the Stray Gators with their live album, Tuscaloosa. Again, with just this cheap plastic CD release packaging that I really don't like. But I'm very happy to have this in the collection since I'm a big fan of Neil Young. And uh, I'm so pleased to... Finally, check this out. I know it has been a while since it was released. I'm very glad to have it. The last big pile are the Black Sabbath albums I'm going to be showing you. I'm not going to talk about 
the ones that I haven't reviewed yet, show you them quite quickly. They're not in uh, order, they're just in random piles. So, here we go. We've got uh, Mob Rules, their second album with Ronnie James Dio. The next one in this random pile is Dehumanizer, their last ever uh, Sabbath album with Dio and with Geezer back in the band. Tia, and I'm quite surprised that these CD releases and the vinyls of the Tony Martin period of Black Sabbath can be, you know, quite rare. And they're, they're pricey, which is a bit ridiculous. Cross Purposes. Next one is Born Again. This was the last Black Sabbath album that I had to buy. And I know that I had reviewed it, but I wanted it for the collection Forbidden. And this one somehow uh, arrived with Sticky. CD sleeve thing, you know, like when I got my FX Twin CD of uh, Richard D. James, similar to that in a way. It's it's the same packaging really. Well, that's Forbidden. Seventh Star. I'm going to be reviewing this one next. The next one for me to talk about in the album review, and the last one. Headless Cross. And there's something very annoying about this CD release. Since track 4 to the very end, there was just this very annoying noise that it just went t -t 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 all the way through that ruins the listening experience for me. That's just something very, very distracting. And I remember listening to this whole album on YouTube and that noise did not come out when I was listening to it. It may be just a CD error, but I actually checked this one out on Discogs, and this was an actual CD release. So I have no idea what is going on. I might have to rebuy it, which is a bit of, of an annoying thing, but that's that. Headless Cross. I have all of the Ozzy Osbourne period from Black Sabbath in the collection over there. Thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.